Listen, man, Chris Gotti's in the building, man. I'm yeah. your host, Blizzum. All right, South by Southwest 2022. We back like we never left. We back outside. You know what I'm talking about? Media Facts. Matters is going down, man. We on 6th Street, Vulcan Gas Company. You know the drill. The place is lit, all right? <laughs> we got some industry inside, some industry heavy hitters in here, man. Yeah. We're talking to the artists and everything, but we got to pause for a minute. When somebody like Mr. Gotti pulls that's up. The Flintstones right there. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> right outside, you know what I'm saying? We outside, for real. You know what I'm talking about? Welcome, man. Thank you uh, for taking the time to sit down and shop with us, man. man. This is what it's about. It's about supporting each other, being here to, you know, to uh, tell each other stories, see what we're doing, to see where like minds could actually help each other out in business. And, and that's what I'm doing with these artists. Again, supporting the show. K100, you know what I'm saying? Blizz, what up? Yeah. This is what we do. Thank you very much, man. We appreciate that. So listen, I, I know you've been here before. I've actually seen you out and about at South by Southwest. For, I'm, you know. the, I'm the only one. I don't see no other execs walking like me. <laughs> I, without, I, honestly, with, I'm out there. That's, that's true. Especially and, at this event. And too. again, I'm not doing it for any other reason except for I want to be accessible to some of these independent artists to help them because they don't know what to do. They lost. Especially right. in the smaller markets, they really get confused on what to do. You go to the bigger markets. I'm from New York. All the artists in New York feel they can find the biggest executives or right. whatever. When you go to these smaller markets, they don't feel they got a chance. They don't even know who they're looking for. All right. You know That's, what I'm saying? So, I'm here. Right, exactly. Holla. I, think, I don't even think every I, people in the room need Can I curse know. on it? Yes, you can. Okay, because I fuck with who fucks with me. Exactly. So I try to explain to them. I do a digital distribution company called Adventure Music, where I'm empowering them how to, I'm teaching them how to own, operate, and monetize their music. Right. And that's the key. You know, 30 plus years ago when we did our first music, it's still relevant today. Exactly. We still make money from it today. Exactly. That's the same thing you could do as an independent artist. It may be a smaller scale, but I don't know anybody giving me a dollar. Right. Tell me one person you got in your life that's handing you a dollar every time they see you. That's how you got to look at it. You got to scale down what it is and understand everyone's not going to be Drake, but you could actually become an artist relevant enough without the world knowing who you are right. to generate a living for you and your family that you're going to be able to pass on to your kids when you die. Absolutely. And that's what I'm doing. That's so and, and when the, it, Go ahead. The, the, the importance of ownership uh, is, is, to me is, is a big thing. Like, that's why I do this. Like, I, 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 this, this exists because I wanted, I wanted to control, you know, have control over the narrative of the brand and how we operate, how we deal with artists and everything. Right. So, you know, as someone that owns a black owned platform, we don't always get that level of support nah. from a lot of people because we're not we're not as big as maybe a breakfast club who's on, who's who, a great show, but the station itself is owned by, you know, someone else. Yes. You feel what I'm saying? So can we talk a little bit about the ownership of not only just that, I own internet radio station, shout right. out Rich Black, our biggest one is highly unique radio. I can't tell independent artists I'm trying to support you and don't have a place for them to get their music played. Right. It can't go to the biggest stations in the in the country because they have an agenda. They have they getting you know they got uh, uh, artists and labels that are really making sure they play their music. Right. So you have slim to no chance. Right. Of getting really real spins or real leverage on the radio station, but you don't need radio today. I don't know the last artist or radio station broke. Right. So why would I go to a radio station? Radio stations, in my opinion, has evolved not from. And I'm not talking about internet, I'm talking about main stations, right, right. terrestrial radio. They evolved from breaking artists to now making you a mainstream superstar. Right. That's more of their role today. Right now, right. Uh, and you could be a superstar without it. Right. It just puts you at another level with them because right. you reach a different audience that, again, technically isn't your audience. Right. So your name is more aware in other people's uh, vocabulary where they wouldn't be. You know, if you understand what I'm saying. I understand what you're saying definitely. So how do you? So how do you? So what? What? What's, what's the? What's the hardest thing that when you first meet an artist and they're unseasoned, they're, they're not, they're not, they have no experience, whatever. What's the hardest thing that you found is for them to grab and grasp? Get when you started. Try to teach, when you try to That's teach an easy them. answer for me. Yeah. I I don't think there's an executive at my level that ever dealt with more artists. So I have a very easy way of finding things because when you deal with something over and over and over, you're an expert at what you do because you do it every day, right. all day. The amount of hours, I do this every day, all day for over 30 years. Right. It's very hard for someone to catch me. Right. So what I'm saying by that is when you ask me that question, what's the hardest thing? Getting started. Artists are the most insecure people that I've ever met. So to, and I, in, in adventures, I really, what I call, I put the mirror in front of them. Right. I never heard an artist say, damn, that was my fault. Mm. 
They always blame some or something that happened that why, why they, they get didn't on, work. Why they didn't get they, on. It's the answer really as simple as maybe the world wasn't ready for that that sound. Right. Maybe Drake just dropped a record and swallowed up the market share and all the attention right. that's out there and your shit didn't get no attention. <laughs> so how could it win? Right. And today the the the, the consumer is attention span is so short. The lifespan of a record isn't long. So you have to feed, consistently feed them. I like to put music as food. Right, so right. So that's your feed, feeding them. You got to, which means give them music. How could Drake be the biggest artist in the world and outwork your ass and you at the bottom? Exactly. Get up, there's something wrong. But most artists, the hardest part is getting started because they're insecure about the music. Is it good enough? Or I want to roll my shit out just like this. There's no perfect nothing. Only thing perfect is us. God made us perfect. What's what? How important is the, is, is an artist's budget, an independent artist's budget? How important yeah. is it really? Uh, I'm gonna give you another answer that's very easy to so they can understand. If it was about money, right? Mm -hmm. Universal, Warner Brothers, Sony would have thousands of stars, more than they have. They would be bigger than Google. Right. If it was about money, just think why I'm saying that. They have all the money. They got all the relationships. Right. What else do you need? Right. Okay, it's yeah. not that easy. Right. Yeah, some artists you don't know, make it. You um, know, Universal, Warner Brothers, Sony, all of them work on the same. It's, let's call it 10 and 1. Ten, they sign 10 artists. They only look for one to win. Right. The, that one pays for everybody. And so on and so on. And that's how they budget out their whole fiscal year. And then catalog being the number one way any artist or label makes money. When I think of independent artists, all they are is miniature labels. Right. So they need to understand catalog is the number one way I'm going to make money. You understand what I'm saying? Right. And they're not actually thinking on those terms. Most of these platforms they're on, I'm going to go back to my digital distribution, go ahead, right? Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, because most of those platforms they're on that I don't want to talk about, and I, I don't knock no company. I don't knock no brother. I want everyone to win. Right. There's plenty for everyone. Pepsi. Uh, Coca-Cola is not worried about Pepsi, right? Or vice versa, and they both eat. Right. You understand? ABC, CBS, NBC, Universal, Warner Brothers, Sony. All be They there. all eat. <laughs> right. They don't have to worry about it. It's personal if they have more number ones for the year than the other, but it fluctuates year to year. Yeah. Universal is the biggest company. They own a third of the music industry. Right very important to understand these things that I'm saying because you are, as an independent artist, a, minor, a miniature one. So if they monetize their business the most from catalog, that's what you should do. Absolutely. So the most of these platforms, if you don't keep paying them, they throw you off and take your music down like you never existed. Right. So what I would argue with them, and I would love to sit with any of these niggas on the panel, because uh, none of them could fuck with me, I promise you. Right. Uh, and the reason I say that is if I could put that on and expose that because what's the reason you're doing that if you're really trying to help an independent artist? If that, the, the, the truth of the matter is they need to catalog. You're a new artist. You put out a record. No one heard it. You put out another record. Everyone heard it. Loved it. What's the first thing the fan does? Go back and listen to the old. Ha, come on. Right. So if it's gone, how <laughs> could they do that? Right. It's counterproductive and artists don't get it. So when they go to these other companies, DistroKid, TuneCore, they all do it, United Masters, all of them do that same business. They take that, it down, they don't? They take it down if you don't continue to pay them year after year. They have an annual cause to keep it. I'm a one-time fee, lifetime member, never remove your music. Your music will li live and exist on Adventures Music and on all the DSPs and we will be paying you as long as money's being generated. That to me is everything. I'm an executive. I understand this shit. This is what I'm trying to give on to these right. young kids. Music industry, I didn't learn this in a year. So how do they gonna learn? It's that much information. Right. But I didn't have a Chris Gotti for me right. to teach me. So I had to go the hard way, which is losing money, bad deals. You know what I'm saying? All of those things is what made me who I am that you can't replace. Yeah. I got it now. You got me. You can't trick me no more. Right. And even with the internet, or with the information out here, it's still, still, it's still, it's still. The still internet the is a gift and a curse. Yeah. It's also making it very hard to find an artist. It's also shortening the lifespan of artists. Okay. Uh, and because we go and skip to the next one, 
there's a lot more money today than it was back then because right. of all the ways you can monetize your music. Right. It's a gift and a curse. Man. I got. I wish. I wish. I wish I had. I wish I had a whole hour to sit down and talk to this. <laughs> I really do. I really appreciate you for coming through. Uh, uh, no doubt. I appreciate no that, doubt. man. Before we go, I want to make sure you want just specifically give out where they can sign up and where they can get and find out about the service. Absolutely. You could call. You could DM me uh, on Instagram or any social media platform at Chris Gotti one eight seven. All social media platforms. It's still murder. And then you could go and get on the platform and sign up at add add ventures v-e-n-t-u-r-e-s music m-u-s-i-c dot com sign up and i made that name for the reason i'm adding ventures together in music got it right that's why i didn't do ad this is adventures at it's three words not one word you know but when you sign up it's one on the on the gram it's i one got thing. it Chris Gotti, ladies and gentlemen. K100 Radio, we are live right now. Media Matters, South by Southwest 2022. Plenty of game, plenty of jewels. I hope you... Facts. Hey, listen. That's, that was free game. Free. Got a whole bunch more. Listen. That's it. Stop. <laughs> that, that's, that's it. That's the post. K100 Radio.